Good morning, Northwest. I'm Abigail. And I'm Kasira. And, and we'd, we'd like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand down by your side and say it with us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for dress code check. We had a banana pug yesterday. A it's banana a dog pug? in a shark costume. We had a banana pug yesterday, but it's a little shark. Okay. Little sharks. Okay, you may now be seated. It's a Minecraft book And now for today's announcements. YCI is accepting donations for the Cabarrus County Humane Society. Each home room will have a donation box with a list of possible do donation items. All donations must be turned in by February 18th. All media assistants Cut need to report the to the media center Thursday at 9.15, the start of Titan Time. Thank you. And now for and Mr. Mr. Henson. Henson. Good morning, Titan family, and welcome to Titan Connect. Now, we're for our Wednesday Words of Wisdom, you're going to love this today. Today is National Pizza Day! Woo! National Pizza Pie, or Pizza Day, is a day for doing what? Eating pizza! Now, I bet you didn't know it, but pie-shaped flatbreads with toppings have been seen, that were first eaten in Naples in the late 18th and 19th centuries. At that time, there was a food for the poor working people, and it didn't really catch on. But fast forward, and in the United States, when the Neapolitans actually immigrated here, pizza great, gained great popularity. The first pizzeria is actually in the United States is Lombardi's, which started in New York City way back in 1905, and it's still in business today, even though they have a new location. They use the same oven to cook your pizza they did in 1905. So, just enjoy all the multitudes of different crusts, different toppings, and all the awesome things that make pizza so delicious. Yeah. So, whether you're going to do delivery, whether you're going to your favorite pizzeria, or whether you've got that great frozen pizza in the, in the freezer and you're going to pop it in your oven, enjoy your favorite pizza today. Also, it's National School Counseling Week. Now, this is intended to focus public attention on the unique contributions that school counselors make to school systems throughout the United States. This is sponsored by the ASCA, and it highlights the tremendous impact that school counselors can have in helping students achieve school success and plan for a career. It's always celebrated the first full week of February, which is this week. Now, they also have a theme each year, and this year's theme is Better Together. So, to, we want to give a big shout out to all of our counseling staff today for all they do. Thank you. Now, as I told you last week, it, February is Black History Month. And each, each week, I was going to have a person that we would recognize for their contributions they have made. This week's con contributor is Katherine Johnson. Now, for some of you, that name might sound familiar. Ms. Johnson was born in West Virginia in 1918. As a young girl, she was fascinated by math and numbers, and people clearly knew that she was gifted. She was so gifted that at the age of 14, you know what she did? She graduated high school, and she finished college with degrees in both math and French from West Virginia State College. She initially became a teacher, but later she took a job with a company called the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or later what would become NASA. Every, now, everybody, know, everybody knew that she was very talented and she was great with numbers, but they didn't really know to later what she was really capable of. She battled racism and sexism at NASA and never stopped going. And she was also what was known as a human computer. This is way back before we had our laptops, our phones, and all the other computing devices. She was actually the focus of a movie in 2016 called Hidden Figures. I'm sure you, many of you have seen that. She was one of the behind the scenes folks 
that eventually worked her way up to where she actually worked with the moon landings and other major NASA missions. In 2015, President Barack Obama actually awarded her our highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom at the White House at a ceremony. Now, here's a quote from President Obama. In her 33 years at NASA, Catherine was a pioneer who broke the barriers of race and gender, showing generations of young people that everyone can excel in math and science and reach for the stars. Now, unfortunately, at the age of 101, she died in 2020. Her contributions paved the way for many that followed her. So we want to give her a big shout out today, Katherine Johnson, for all your contributions. And our quote of the week is actually in honor of Ms. Johnson. And here's, your, here's her quote. Like what you do, and then you will do your best. So just think about this. This reminds us that if you're doing something that you like, that you'll focus on it and give you your very best effort. Remember, always do your best and look for things that might make you happy doing them. You'll be glad you did. Now, as we close for the day, Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day. The choice is yours. Yay.